Hi, my name's Shawful and welcome to another one of my videos where I talk about the real world of data. In today's video, I'm going to cover off the topic of if you're a data analyst and you want to be a data scientist, what does it take uh, to get there? Now, in reality, a lot of what data scientists do is what data analysts do. So you'll find there's a lot of transferable skills, um, but there are some skills that you will need to learn on top of what you already do uh, in order to transition over to being a data scientist. Now, the first thing I would ask you to do is to learn something like R or Python. Now, if, you're not, if you don't know either of those, then probably best to pick up, pick up Python because the data science community is sort of leaning more towards Python than it was R, which was historically a very popular tool. And what I would do is learn Python and do exactly what you're doing in Excel or SQL that you do now and try and replicate it in Python. That way you'll get a feel for the, uh, the different language that's used in uh, Python and how it can do similar things that you can do in SQL or, or Excel. The next thing I would then do is try and learn some statistics. So as a data analyst, you should know the basics, okay? Um, but what I would ask you to do is learn around multiple regression, around classification, around decision trees. Um, the more complex stuff like neural networks or, um, or collaborative filtering, I wouldn't worry about those at this moment, but try and learn more around the sort of the regression uh, techniques, the, the classification and the decision tree type, type stuff. I'd also try and learn a bit about NLP, so how does natural language and processing work, um, and Python is really good for that as well. And I'd also learn a bit around uh, sort of computer vision, so how can you use Python to do things like image recognition, uh, sort of matching stuff up and things like that uh, with actual uh, images. So once you've learned that, what I would then suggest you do is try and replicate some of the work that you do currently in uh, SQL or Excel and try and replicate it in Python, okay, just so that you, you start becoming familiar with this tool. And then what you should do is look for problems or look for questions or challenges that your business currently has and see if you can use data science techniques to answer those questions. So you may be analyzing data, looking at um, sales or looking at how customers are performing over time. And what you might want to do is say, actually, could I predict how customers will perform over time? If we acquire people from these marketing channels, um, <clears throat> how would they perform over time um, in terms of revenue, in terms of longevity or tenure, um, or even in terms of uh, loyalty, if you have a measure of loyalty in terms of like frequency of transactions, uh, time spent, all that kind of things. Now, if you can identify those problems, that's really good because now you're trying to think like a data scientist. You're trying to say, right, okay, as a data analyst, I usually described what was happening. I provided recommendation. But with data science, I'm going to try and now anticipate what will happen in the future and potentially prescribe what kind of solutions the business needs to be uh, needs to take on board in order to solve those challenges. So what you really want to do is get start thinking about how you would answer business challenges using data science principles. Now, when you get into this mindset, you, you, you'll find that there are uh, challenges that the businesses have that you can actually now answer because you've learned all these new techniques uh, around data science. But alongside learning the statistics and learning Python, I would also recommend that you read around what data scientists do, the kind of problems they solve and the kind of techniques they use in order to solve those problems. That will then help you get start thinking around how data scientists solve problems um, and how that's different from how data analysts uh, uh, typically answer a question. Then when you're confident that you feel that you can add value to your organization, the first thing to do is ask your existing employer um, whether you can change your title from data analyst to data scientist because now you can apply data science techniques in order to answer some of these business questions that are potentially a, a challenge for the business um, and if you could help answer them it would help the business grow and it will drive more value from the data that you have. If your business however is not ready to employ a data scientist and you feel that they're not going to offer you that role then the next step is obviously to look to another organization uh, to, uh, and apply for a data scientist in that organization. Now when you're applying for that role what you might find is that actually um, you may not be able to go like for like or uh, get a promotion um, in terms of moving over data science because you are a data analyst and you may find that people applying for that role have far more technical expertise or more um, expertise around machine learning that you don't have but actually a lot of what you do so the presentations defining the business questions uh, the data cleansing will be very common so they're skills that you already have but you may not have that particular data science expertise that organizations are looking for so therefore you may not get a boost um, in, in pay if you're moving across or you may even be asked to take on a, 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 a lower role in order to build up your skill sets. 
Okay, so if, if you're willing to do that, then obviously take up that role. But if you're not, then the next thing I would suggest is actually stay in your existing role and take up data science as a side hustle. So I talk about doing data science or data analytics as a side hustle, so it's worth watching that video to see how you can do that successfully. And the, one of the core things, obviously, is make sure there's no conflict of interest if you're if with your current employer if you do data science as a side hustle. But if there's no conflict of interest, then go ahead, try and get some projects on, on data science um, and build up your uh, portfolio, build up your skills, um, learn different techniques um, and it's a good way of actually you know becoming very proficient at data science uh, but still doing your day job and the final option is if you don't want to do e any of those is to do data science as a freelance a freelancer or a contractor so if you feel that you've got the expertise now um, you, you, you know you're confident in running uh, queries in Python um, you, you know you feel you could learn the rest uh, just by doing a bit of research then go ahead become a freelancer and start applying for uh, roles that require data science freelancers again I've done another video about how to do data science as a, a, a freelancer or a contractor so it's worth watching that to understand what you need to do to be successful um, but it is a very viable option there's a lot of demand for uh, data scientists now especially in the freelance space um, and what happens is that you actually in the early days because you'll be exposed to lots of different uh, clients and lots of different client data and potentially just lots of different business challenges you learn faster and so if you are that kind of person who can uh, pick things up and self-teach themselves then it's a, um, a route worth taking if you are a data analyst and you're thinking about being a data scientist that's my recommendation for you like I said learn a, a tool like Python learn some more statistics um, obviously a lot of the skills that you have for example presentation defining business problem data cleansing will be very common across both being a data scientist and a data analyst um, and then you know your options are either to ask your existing employer to change your title to a data scientist role, apply for a data science role in another company, maybe do data science as a side hustle as you build up your portfolio and your skills, or to actually become a freelancer and become a data scientist that way. Well, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please do comment or ask any questions in the comment sections below. Please like the video, and of course, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.